Hey guys, what's popping YouTube? Welcome back to Two Brother Vlogs. Today and we are driving the BMW X5. Chura liya mera dialogues. <laughs> Chura liya mera script. And by the way, uh, you know, Instagram page for Two Brother Vlogs has is open. Do check out. We are actually posting a lot of content on it. it just it's it, right now we are doing the guess game on what our next bike is going to be. Yeah, about the car, most of you know. A few of you have guessed it correct. Most of you have guessed it wrong. I'm going this slow because I want to show you guys the acceleration power of this car and I'm loving the car in front to uh, give me some space. So, in three, two, one, and go. Oh boy, oh boy. How wicked was that acceleration? And this, this is this, a diesel. This car is actually quick. It is silent when you ride it normally, and it is extremely plush. We will do an extensive, you know, review of this car really, really, really soon. soon. Like you will not believe it how quick that felt to uh, you know to us who ride bikes which are much faster than any sports cars. <laughs> And we were we get pushback whenever we do that to this car like crazy. The torque is mental. Mental, too mental for I. Yeah, it is like that. It is absolutely like that. Chalo, we let like down and then it goes. There's a lag and then it goes zoom. Oh, <laughs> we are in the military zone. We'll go home and start vlogging. <laughs> and that X5 has plenty of power. Oh, like diesel here. made getting so much torque. I mean, diesel cars are actually talking, but that's like. Zoof. Next level. That is a rocket. And I don't just don't want to go off topic. I just want to offload few things. Our budget for the next bike is close to twenty lakh rupees, around twenty lakh rupees. It might be slightly, you know, ten percent less, now, minus. So, okay, okay. So which directly eliminates Kawasaki H2, uh, the Honda, Goldwing. the Honda Fireblade, Panigale V4S, uh, the Goldwing. And a uh, couple of those bikes, you know, which, which are their hyper class. Even, even the Street well Fighter is out of our budget. That is uh, costing on to 30 lakh rupees. 30 lakh rupees. So. 27, 30 lakh rupees. So we have actually curated uh, a, a small list of bikes which we are going to buy from. So these this are actually our shortlisted bikes. So we're going to tell you two positives, two negatives about each bike, uh, what it is, how it is. Bike on our list is going to be the behemoth BM from the Bavarian BM Motor Works. BMW R18. If we are actually, you know, motorcycle geeks and uh, this is nothing but BMW's cruiser take. Basically, B BMW taking on Harley Davidson. Like taking on Harley Davidson. Yeah. Like, you know, the Pan America, it's actually a competition to the R1250 GS. BMW also released the R18 as a competition to Harley Davidson's cruisers. So now coming, we'll directly dive into the positives and negatives. Two positives first. One, first, looks. Looks. Drop dead gorgeous. Like, uh, it is a very American uh, looking machine. And we'll leave that to that. You people can look at it yourself. Second Number good two. thing, uh, you have a very good you know, for me at least, you have a very good uh, dealer network here in India. So very important when you purchase a big bike, having a proper dealer network. BMW is one of the best in India, if you ask us. So First con, this bike has a lot of chrome. You actually have to actually have to hire someone to maintain the bike, polish it, and clean the bike every single day. And then the amount of chrome on this, the engine is covered in chrome, the body is covered in chrome, the exhaust is completely chrome. Oh my god, so there's a lot of TLC and cleaning required for this maintaining this machine. Biggest con is that and the second biggest is the weight. Yeah, it's close to 350 kgs. I can give up to it. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine how heavy that's going to be. But when you ride it, uh, lifting off the stand is a little difficult. But once you do that, it's fine. Second bike, you guys are actually, you guys want us to take this bike. Like and every other message we get from you guys is like, bro, take the BMW S1000 RR. It is a fabulous machine. So there are three variants in this bike. Uh, one is the standard, second one is the Pro, and third one is the Pro with M, M Sport baggage or something. M Sport like. is quite expensive. That is out of the league. The uh, Pro, Pro version is 26 lakhs. Even that is, that is out again. Out. The, the only standard version is close to 24, 23 change, 24 after all the discounts calculated. So that is one bike. So pros about this bike, for me, it looks... It is 
surprisingly it looks very similar to the pulsar 200 rs <laughs> that is the reason I why you had to see my face that. right but pros 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 yes again very good uh, dealer network here in hyderabad amazing power 200 bhp yeah, yeah it's got it's, it's an inline four so it's it's one of the best sounding bikes out there cons one i just said it looks like rs it's a very polarizing design yeah like it that. looks like pulsar rs 200 when the, 220 or 200 rs 200 i guess and the second con for same for this bike is you know there are far too many bikes in here in hyderabad i just want a bike you know both of us we actually want a bike which is quite unique and uh, that is one of the reasons why we are thinking about this bike yeah, if we yeah. and ja rahe bike acha hai but there are like far too many here in yeah hyderabad. too many too many as 1000 rs in hyderabad just is kinye chetanya hola na call karke dam dam kar raha hai chai bike number 3 Ducati Panigale V2. You know this bike uh, resembles like the V4, but you know the difference between there are very minor differences. Yeah, Again, so somebody you put a V2 and a V4 beside each other, you can find out the differences. Again, for a keen Ducatisti like me, I know it as soon as I see a V2. It is quite different but from for a, you know an, an average Joe, average guy. You know. Uh, V4 is a four cylinder bike V2 is a two cylinder bike and V4 has close to you know 200 bhp but uh, V2 has close to 160 160 yeah 160, so 160 bhp. so the pros about this bike it looks gorgeous Ducati is yeah Ducati there is no second to that this and, bike looks uh, drop dead gorgeous the second uh, pro about this bike is you know there are very 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 few bikes here in hyderabad let alone in india india mein bhi bahut kam hai v2 bikes in hyderabad i don't see there like one or two that's it is it i don't know how many are there also the quite quite less in number but uh, the cons here comes the it has many cons yeah one is it heats up you know rohit's multistrada you think that heats up that is nothing compared to the ducati panigale v2 so it's like <laughs> yeah apparently like every video everybody who's, who's ridden this bike who talks about it talks about the heat and so, this bike heats up a lot hyderabad being a very hot country or being city it becomes crazily difficult to, to manage, manage such a bike. bike and also the second con which i want to say is you know uh, it's the, expensive yeah see uh, this bike is the v2 is 160 bhp like i said It is close to the S one thousand R R range. The base twenty two lakhs, twenty two change, close yeah. to you know S one thousand R R. So like if I pay like fifty thousand more, I'm going to get S one thousand R R with like two hundred bhp. But to be honest, you will not use two hundred bhp on the street. We are not track riders, and uh, still <laughs> again similar price to S one thousand R R, but much less power. That's that. Next Ooh, bike, the fourth bike. my favorite of all <laughs> all as in all i sorry but ducati desert sled there's even a post in uh, on instagram on my private channel saying that ducati desert sled is my favorite looking bike of all it creates very less power first thing oh uh, sorry pros for me gorgeous for everyone it looks amazing, it looks amazing. the uh, again for people who are not aware what the desert sled is it's basically the 800 scrambler with jacked up suspension uh beefier springs more uh, stronger uh, uh, shock, uh, shock absorbers in very layman language uh, it is basically a scrambler scrambler is a machine both of us have ridden and we l- love it no second thoughts about it and this one with a higher ground clearance makes more sense yeah so first pro looks cool very easy to ride very con tall extremely tall i don't think so any anyone in our group can flat foot this bike one side only one side only yeah and the the other con is you know this bike does not generate that much of power as in if you're looking as a street triples replacement this is not an out and out replacement and uh, this is a completely different category class category, of motorcycles yeah and and i can actually put in a third con We have an Africa Twin, which is more or less like an you know off-roady, adventurous touring bike. So this is similar to that. So yeah, this is more off-road oriented than the Africa, I guess. Yes, but uh, it's more scrambler. Yeah, but they're not jatte nahi in those kind of situations. The fifth bike we just got launched in India. What should I say? By the time we are making this video, the bike is not yet launched. In launched India. in India, the Ducati Super Sport S. Oh my Ooh. boy. Ducati is every Ducati is like oh uh-huh. it, it is it is a red you know it's like 
and uh, that, I, I i don't know about many of you guys if you know this or not but you know ducatis they never keep any stickering on their bike you know they right. just with spring color and with plain colors they look so good if you look at any other any manufacturer, other manufacturer they, they have they have the, so many stickers there are stickers on all their bike like the kawasaki bmw pro about this bike looks uh, first looks, looks good uh, very good second thing easy to ride yeah easy. it's it's not an out and out uh, what do you call sports bike it's more like a sports tourer sports tourer uh with little again, sportier stance yeah uh, see again even my multi strata is a sports tourer uh, where it's more slightly more oriented towards uh, touring than sports whereas this is slightly more sports than touring, touring. So, but see, it's it's kind of the similar ranks so there those are the pros but the cons what are the cons with this bike maybe to cutty service network in uh, india Yeah, hey, you can say that. You can say that for every Ducati. Every Ducati, yeah. But oh yeah, uh, again, we we didn't get two cons. We haven't ridden it, obviously. Yeah. But we don't have the cons yet for that bike. The sixth. <laughs> so this bike, until we have ridden, ridden it recently, Gen Two, we 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 we, we were we were like imagine. we were like Hayabusa haters, pretty much. Yeah, After we thought it was too bulky, too bulbous, too gigantic motorcycle to even go anywhere. Oh, I, I'm just all of frame people I'm, like I'm us. I'm itching to ride the Gen Three. Absolutely. Uh, Rose, yeah. So yeah, okay. We're talking about the only one and only the Suzuki Mighty Hi. Hayabusa. Rose, yeah. The first one is cost. Cost for like eighteen point eight lakhs on road, you're getting two hundred bhp bike, and uh, you're also getting the heritage. Heritage, you're getting full electronics package and all. The cons. No, I, I didn't say the second pro. That's all pros only. Okay, the cons. Uh, dealer network here in Hyderabad. Is Or in India, for that matter. Again, uh, you especially in Hyderabad, it is lacking. There is no proper showroom for yeah, Suzuki. Yeah, yeah. As in, yeah, th- for premium anywhere in India, right, they don't have a premium showroom. It was just, it's just like how we've experienced it here. It's heavy, and the looks are really. It's not for everyone's taste. It's big. It's a big bike. As in, we might look small on it. Type big bike, big bike it is. The seventh bike, Kawasaki Ninja ZX Ten R. Okay, first, unfortunately, you see my sad face. I'll start off with the con. It looks hideous. <laughs> I'm sorry. Looks again. We have seen it in person as well. Uh, I'll start off with the cons. It looks yuck. It looks hideous even in person. Second one, uh, I know the uh, dealership in Nanna. Uh, Hyderabad is it not is, that good. It is horrible, unfortunately. Cons, you're getting a uh, see sorry pros. pros. You're getting a very good, powerful machine for close 16, to seventeen lakhs. Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. Yeah, it's again a two hundred horsepower machine with all the gizmos. So, so basically, for this bike, if you take it for that entire money, is absolutely worth for that engine alone. You have to bear with all the other headaches which are around it, and it doesn't look wow. Really. It doesn't give you yeah. It doesn't give you that wow kind of a feeling when you spend so much money. Oh, the ninth bike. I I I skipped that. Do you guys understand? I'm not doing a Kawasaki anymore. <laughs> so the ninth bike. Yeah, not is. many of you guys know this. Not many many of you guys in the world actually know this. Yeah, this is this. Yeah, this is the this is Harley Davidson, which is back. Harley Davidson Sportster S. It has Pan America's engine in it. Yeah, it's got it's slightly differently tuned. It's got about 120 horses. Now more than enough, man. Uh, plenty enough, and if it's got have, oodles and oodles see, of torque. See, if, if you have like close to 100 bhp. Uh, And that is more than enough for any every. roads anywhere in the world. Very honestly. So Sportster S looks looks. Oh my god! Pro pros again. We're talking. Pros. Oh my god! Looks it looks amazing. amazing. No one in India actually owns it. It's still not yet launched. It is. It's going to be launched here in in, in September itself. So pre bookings so are. There's there's still you know open the pre bookings, but uh, uh, you can talk to the dealer and find out if when the bike is going to get launched. So this is a big contention for us. This bike is there absolutely in a short list. Is one of this is a clue which we are giving away. Yeah, it's, it's it, it looks crazy. Yeah. It looks the three colors on this bike. Uh, there's white, uh, there's black, and there is burgundy. burgundy. All of them look all cool. of them look amazing. Cons, cons. The, the dealer club, network now. Dealer network now in Hyderabad is not in India in general. Uh, it's still hardly is finding its grounds back. Uh, we still don't know how good they are, but yeah. uh, I've spoken to uh, this dealer in Hyderabad a lot of times in recent past just because of this machine because 
we are very interested in this machine and the second con is oh my god you'll not believe this ground clearance as an you will not believe it so i i i write i used to write the street triple quite a lot so that has 120 mm of ground clearance and it used to scrape its belly at times but this bike okay got- now okay listen increase your volume and we're not going to repeat it because it's it's scary talking about this it's got a ground clearance of 90 mm 92 <laughs> 90 90 mm mm-hmm. and a rear suspension travel of 2 inches uh, so <laughs> front suspension also doesn't travel much so it's basically you don't have any suspension on it this it is a show yeah. bike it is a crazy show bike it looks absolutely fabulous but oh boy it doesn't have clearance the 10th bike honda cb1000 triple black or all black looks ooh uh, it's going to get launched in few months in india i for me it looks crazy it looks i'm i'm okay for me i don't see, i'm actually bad. a good honda fanboy kind of a guy so it looks crazy it got it's got a killer engine uh, the dealer network i'm the showroom part being a owner a honda owner i can say that the uh, the service is up there with the bmw service stations uh, but problem with hondas cons is that people, it's going to be expensive it's not launched yet but yeah. i know when it's going to be launched it's going to be freaking expensive looking yeah, at i don't the, understand honda india honda they, yeah pricing of honda india the, 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 the it is it is ridiculous much. and the second con is because like simple knowledge uh, i'm talking about the super sports now the fire blade in normal layman's language is no comparison to a ducati when it comes to brand image in india Yeah, that's where I was going to. Yeah, that, that, that's where I was going to. You're riding a Honda Superbike. People will not look at you like a you know Honda Superbike owner. People will look at you. Arey, yar, ye to apna normal Honda ka hi bike hai, and they'll not care. I'm being an Africa twin owner. I'm telling you this because I'm facing it right now. People will not. If people who like that low profile, they would love this. But, But if you again, don't care about ev- all such things, they, they, they are amazingly machined uh, bikes. They have. very good reliability the honda engineering is fabulous and all the tops but they are overpriced in india unfortunately extremely overpriced and one of the last bikes when no, it comes no, to no no iske baad aur do hai right iske baad aur teen actually the 11th bike uh, aprilia rs660 this looks chest launched in india it's got three colors again uh, it's got the uh, aprilia factory colors it's got a black and it's got the yellow. golden yellow golden whatever you want to call it Looks it's not it is not again a very big upgrade in fact if you compare to the street triple it produces less power close to but, same power but yeah it's this probably is about 100 compared yeah. to the 130 so it's that. a it's it's entry into super sports yeah, yeah. It's for entry. me for see the con it looks good pro it looks good oh pro. sorry sorry pro yeah, it, yeah, yeah. pro it looks good second thing it looks unique con yeah a uh, very bad dealer network here in hyderabad and also it's not a big upgrade for uh, from the street triple yes 12th bike Indian FTR 1200 okay now but this is when we were in the last trip to you know were coming from delhi there was a showroom in um, delhi. delhi unfortunately there's no indian showroom in hyderabad so we checked it out and we did ask for a good deal back then and uh, we were actually finding troubles you know getting this particular bike here in hyderabad but you know okay just before the full of blabbers whatever he wants to say this bike is over engineered i am saying less when i say this words but this bike is absolutely over engineered by indian okay for people who don't know this brand indian is an american brand older than harley davidson not as famous unfortunately but they produce some fabulous machines and this machine is one just like that it is a new one it's inspired by a flat track racing machine ft i mean flat track racing so okay. yeah Pro, oh yeah, it looks good. It looks has ample amount of power. Yeah. Cons, no dealer network here. Zero. In, absolutely no dealer network. Hyderabad zero. All Pan India very little. And also the second con is availability of spares. Actually, I have to price. import the spares. Yeah, price. Uh, the currently last we spoke, they had a 2019 model, and the price what they're asking is ridiculous. So unfortunately, they the, come down. The twelfth bike sense. is. Ducati Scrambler eleven hundred Sports Pro. So Charon has the eleven hundred, but not the Sports Pro. He's got the dark. 
Yeah. Uh, so the dark same. and this, the price difference is like four to five, four point five to five lakh rupees. So the only similarity. That is one of a con there. Yeah. <laughs> Getting so, similar bike, but you know this is costing more because it because it has Olin suspension, Olin suspension and a drag style handlebar. That's it. And the color. Yeah. Everything so else is the pretty same. much the same. So the positives. It sounds great. Looks great. Priced, Hi. decent. Hi. Decent. Okay. Hi for me. Uh, oh, the big daddy. Okay. Triumph Rocket Three. Ooh. Uh, the behemoth of an engine. Uh, this is the biggest production motorcycle Legally. engine in the world. It is two thousand five hundred cc only. Oh, we can leave it at that, right? Yeah. Look Pro. at the bike. It looks fab. Pros. Great engine. Pros looks cool. Has crazy power. Crazy cons. Torque more than power. Yeah, cons. It's like 300 kgs. And not many cons again. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why not? Not many cons here. Not many cons. We can manage this. I've, I've, I've actually uh, sat on this in the showroom and it was not feeling that heavy. It was it was looking good. It, it is an eye catcher. Not I, many cons. Yeah, the dealer look is also decent in here in Hyderabad. So, uh, can't say anything about it. Last, Last but not the least, the Triumph Speed Triple RS. So that's a thousand cc again. Twelve hundred, re. Yeah, whatever. Over thousand. One eighty bhp, super naked. Looks crazy, but you know looks that's a con. Lo- looks the, co- the con comes here. We have the Speed, speed Triple. We are selling it, and I don't see you know buying a Speed Triple after selling a Speed Triple because they look the same. Yeah, it produces more more power. If I never, if I did not have a Speed Triple as such, oh, this blindly. would be my one one of the top contenders. Top, yeah, this would be the main contender. I would say. It's how you have to listen to this bike in person. I have no idea with Euro Five or BS Six norms and emissions coming in. How did they manage to get such a loud machine? Ooh. So by saying this, these are the bikes which we kept in our, you know, like sort of shortlisted portfolio kind of a thing, and uh, I can clearly go ahead and say that we actually booked one bike among these. We are one bike among these. You guys can guess, and I'm not going to. Uh, say and play this guess game again uh, until this is the next time we talk about our new bike we'll be very close to the delivery of the bike yes uh, so check it out so all these bikes actually the bikes which I'm talking about right now all these bikes are actually uh, you know they'll take two to three months to get delivered to you so expect the delivery to happen not before November yeah. so Starting November, we'll talk about these bikes again. Uh, even if there's any update which is minor, we'll not be telling you because there's no point of giving you tiny, tiny updates about our bike. No, we we are we are already searching for you know after my <laughs> uh to upgrade the bikes. So yes, the bike. Do let us know uh, you know any of these bikes interest you at all. Uh, I. I, I don't mind having all of them in my car. Uh, very yeah, honest. Why not? Do I, someone who sponsored will have all of them. Uh, please. So, yes. do subscribe, do hit the like button and uh, soon there will be delivery of the new car. You can watch that too. So, by saying this, I just want to say peace guys and bye bye from Visco. Hey, no, no. Bichara Pata, this fellow has got some hurt. Yeah. He's been limping for the last 3-4 no, no, days. He's not been able to walk properly. Papam Bichara. Che, che, bye, Visco, bye. Alright guys, see you in the next vlog, which fingers crossed is going to be the delivery of our new car. Till then, bye bye, see you and love you all.